So you have to fold this wrist and see the second line. First line and second deep line. Mm -hmm. And put your first finger after the first deep line, which is Vata Pulse. And the finger should be flat. flat yeah. yeah. Put them flat. Then the second one after a pin uh, tip of pin distance, you have to put the second tip finger. Difference. Yes. And then the third finger. This is superficial. And hold the hand gently. Is there any particular yes. way to hold it? Or no, just, just gently. Like this is fine. So that the hand is balanced. So this one, very light, just light, touching. Light pressure, medium, medium pressure, and deep pressure. More. Yeah. And then feel which one is jumping more out of the three. Yeah, first one. Vata. Yeah. And the second is? Yeah, very subtle, but it is the third one. Yes, so that I is get kapha. Almost, I get no jump, really, from the middle yes, one. Yes, so this is called as vata and kapha imbalance. Yeah, so this is first one is vata, it's predominant. Yes. The biggest jump. The second is dominant. Dominant, which is second dosha. Which is kapha in this case. Yes. And then pitta. Is not much. You can't feel, feel it much. And when going back and forth, like a piano or a yes, sitar, sitar, how do you do that? So... First, uh, release the pressure from these two fingers and just deep pressure on the vata. And then release the pressure from the vata and deep pressure on pitta. Then release both this pressure and deep pressure on kapha. You yeah, see the it's difference? it's very clear. <laughs> this is very clear. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the first one is profound Yes. in Vata. The second one doesn't really give me much of anything at all. And then the third one, it's much less... The intensity is far less than the first one, but it is yes. obvious. So this is called a spoils reading? Yeah, that's a good name for it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thank you.